levetiracetam, is more effective than carbamazepine and lamotrigine in newly diagnosed focal epilepsy. Half of all newly occurring epileptic seizures are expected to occur in patients aged 60 and older. Anti-epileptic drugs are used by 2% of community dwelled and by 4 to 11% of the institutionalized elderly. From the newer drugs, lamotrigine was included because of the previous conflicting observations. In the randomized trials, lamotrigine showed superiority in the patient retention versus immediate release carbamazepine, but not versus controlled released carbamazepine. The primary objective of the study was to compare the effectiveness of controlled released carbamazepine to levetiracetam and to lamotrigine in elderly patients with newly diagnosed focal epilepsy. Patients who had no or less than or equal to four weeks previous anti-epileptic drug treatment were included in the study. Patients who had symptomatic seizures occurring less than two weeks after the onset of acute cerebral insults or had been previously treated with valproate within four weeks of screening, renal insufficiency, increased liver enzymes, or bilirubin, dementia, and history of drug or alcohol abuse are excluded. A total of 438 patients, aged greater than or equal to 60 years with new onset of focal epilepsy, was selected for the study. The design was a randomized, double-blind, active comparator, multicenter, parallel group trial, conducted over 58 weeks. The sample size calculation was based on the primary outcome measure of retention rate between carbamazepine to levetiracetam at week 58. Time to discontinuation and time to first seizure were analyzed by the kaplan mayi oro method, and overall differences between the three treatments were compared by log rank test. Time to first drug-related adverse event was also analyzed by the kaplan mayi oro method. After inclusion, study medication was uptitrated over six weeks to initial target doses of 400 mg per day carbamazepine, 100 mg per day lamotrigine, or 1000 mg per day levetiracetam, divided in two equal doses per day. During the titration, patients received one capsule in the evening in the first 14 days, two capsules in weeks 3 and 4, three capsules in week 5 and four capsules from week 6 onward. The data was calculated, based on the primary outcome of the retention rate between drugs at week 58. The retention rate was significantly different for all groups. The retention rate for levetiracetam was more, compared to other groups. The adverse events are from mild to moderate. The events are less in the patients who were administered with levetiracetam. The overall study proved that the randomized control trial provides evidence supporting the use of levetiracetam as first-line treatment for elderly patients with new-onset focal epilepsy.